The X in x-ray stands for unknown. Though scientists now know a lot about x-rays and what exactly they are, Rontgen named them x-rays because he detected the rays but didn't know quite what they were. Despite the new knowledge, we continue to call them x-rays, which is a good reminder of the mystery surrounding their discovery and earliest use. X-rays were initially thought to be safe, until scientists and others who work with them began mysteriously dying. It was Marie Curie's work that would lead to safety advancements in the field of radiology and radiography. The first known human to be killed by x-rays was Clarence Daly, who had spent a number of years working on Thomas Edison's x-ray light bulb. After years of work, his hair fell out and his skin erupted at lesions that wouldn't heal. While Edison cancelled the bulb, Daly continued working with x-rays. Burns on his hands became cancerous and he had both of his arms amputated. He died in 1898 at the age of 39. An x-ray delivers about 10 million times more energy than a radio wave, which gives a sense of why radio waves don't hurt us, but x-rays can. 90% of patients in hospital have imaging carried out. The plain chest x-ray exposes a person to the same naturally occurring background radiation that a person is exposed to every day for 10 days. An x-ray on the spine is the equivalent to six months of exposure to naturally occurring background radiation. X-rays remain the cornerstone of imaging techniques and account for at least 60 to 80% of all diagnostic images. When x-rays are passed through the body, some waves pass through the tissue and turn the film black. Other waves are blocked, example by bones, which leaves white shadows on the film. Each kind of tissue lets x-rays through differently.